Hi there, and welcome back to another Bob Blast. I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is part two of Painting on the Surface. Part one was all about painting on paper. This one is all about canvases and other products, like wooden panels and cradle panels. You can see behind me some of the sizes that I use in my studio, and these are canvases behind me. I just love canvases, you know, when you paint on it, you get that talk back, that go boom, 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 boom. I love painting on canvases, but I also love painting on what I'm about to show you. So the other surfaces would be, here's a Frederick's board. It's canvas and it comes this way, already stretched on a nice little plywood board. Very convenient, especially if you're out plein air painting. You don't have to take the whole big canvas. So they're nice too. On the high end, we have ampersand uh, boards and canvases. They've got all the products. They're like super fantastic, excellent quality. And we also have masterpiece canvases. Another company that makes beautiful canvases. Uh, then if you want to save a little bit of money, over here at Cheap Joe's. I love these. I, this is what I use in my studio. They're not gessoed. This one is not gessoed, but this is ready to go. But I like to put my own gesso, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. They come in all the popular sizes, 10 by 10s. These are called really good cradle painting panels. I like that, really good. And they are, and they're perfect for the way I paint. I'm a little rough on them, and they take a beating. So, um, let me show you this wonderful panel here. It's, it's called a Prime Extra Fine Artboard. It's heavy duty. It's got the slots in the back already. But let me show you how I get it ready for a painting. So I put gesso on everything. Boards, canvases that even have their own gesso. I re-gesso everything with this Utrex professional gesso. It's my favorite. I've been using it since 1966. It's great stuff. Really thick and smooth. Real smooth and that's what I like about it. All right. Here we have the Prime Extra Fine Artboard. It needs gesso on it. That way my acrylic paints or my oil paints will stick better to it. Right now it's just pretty raw. So I have a gesso brush. There are brushes just for gessoing. And I can also Trowel it on with a piece of cardboard. Trowel, troweling it on like that. So here we go. Wet the brush, always wet the brush. And I put a lot on. Boy, is this ever a beautiful product. Smooth too. And heavy duty, holy cow. So I'll put on two thin coats. Two thin coats. And I love the texture of my brush. It's caught a brush just for gessoing. I don't use a real good brush. Do the sides, do the sides too at the same time. And uh, my studio here is in California, so this will dry within an hour. I could be painting on it. Now this is an acrylic gesso. Yeah, perfect for my acrylic paints. Also for my oil painting too. Very nice, very beautiful. Now I have my own DNA all over it. And now I have ownership with a little bit of uh, texture in there. And that's how I like to paint in my studio and all these different surfaces. So again, I re-gesso everything, no matter how it arrives here in my studio, because I, I love the effect of my paints, the Holbein paints, on the Utrex gesso. It's just more professional. It makes it a lot easier for me. I hope you've enjoyed these two videos on surfaces and explains at least what I do. And there are much more uh, surfaces to paint on, of course, but this is what I use. Hey, I'll see you on the next Bob Blast. Hi again, this is Bob, and I just really wanted to thank you so much for the wonderful kind words uh, in your response to my pep talk. I didn't think it was going to be that big, but holy cow, so many people responded. I guess it, it, hit, it hit us all at the right time. And I, I felt I needed to do it for myself and maybe for my friends like you. So 
it gave me an idea. I might be doing more pep talks whenever I have something important to say, right? Or something I'd like to share with you other than these, these painting techniques. I really appreciate your response and thank you so much and uh, help other people too. Take care.